As we all know, the Dallas Mavericks had an amazing postseason, making it all the way to the NBA Finals, where they did eventually lose to the Boston Celtics. But the only thing that was working against the Dallas Mavericks was their health. I mean, we saw Luka Doncic, who was hurt the entirety of the playoffs with a messed up knee, an ankle, a back, his ribs, but he never missed a single game. We saw Maxi Kleba go out in the first round against the Clippers, and he didn't come back until later in the playoffs. Derek Lively missed a game in the third round after taking a nasty hit to the back of the head. The Dallas Mavericks were only dealing with a few injuries, nothing long-term or substantial, but unfortunately, we do have news that Kyrie Irving is going to miss some time. He does have a broken hand that he will be getting surgery for. In this video, we're going to break down some of those reports, take a look at what happened and what's going to and what's going to happen going forward with Kyrie's injury, as well as quell some of the worries that a lot of Mavericks fans have about Kyrie and his health. But how's it going, everybody? My name is Marcel Martin. This is Mavericks Digest, bringing the latest news on everything Mavericks related. And before we start with this video, I know you guys are not tired of me saying it yet. But only 9.4% of you guys have that bell notification turned on. I'm about to leave for a vacation, but it doesn't mean it's my vacation. I'm still going to bring you guys content whenever I can. And if you don't want to miss out on a single thing that we do on any Mavericks update, make sure you ring that bell, and I'd appreciate it greatly. But like I said, the Dallas Mavericks, they had a pretty successful postseason, making it all the way to the NBA Finals. On the back of Luka's hobbled back and knee, his ankle, his ribs, the team was, was looking pretty good while making it to a lot of these guys' first trip to the Finals, a lot of these players' first ever deep playoff run. The team was looking pretty good. What happened in the Finals was really just a lapse of offense. The defense was pretty solid, but the offense really wasn't there. But another layer that was just working against the Dallas Mavericks were our injuries, with Luka Doncic dealing with his injuries, with Maxi Kleba coming back from injury, even though Maxi missed significant time, he still wasn't the same. Maxi, he was he was holding that shoulder a lot after a shot or after dribbling the ball. You could tell that he was dealing with a lot, and hopefully he got all the rest that he need, this, needed this offseason, as well as Derek Lively getting hit in the back of the head by Carl Anthony Towns. He missed the game. The, the hit looked pretty bad, but it, 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 it looked worse than what it was. But like I said in the intro, we have another injury update for Kyrie Irving, and the report are saying that Kyrie Irving has undergone surgery to repair a broken left hand. He sustained the injury earlier this month while training. Further medical updates on Irving's status will be provided as appropriate, Dallas Mavericks say. So it's a good thing. I don't think it's anything to really worry about or panic about. I mean, he's getting surgery for it now. It's not something that we had to wait till October or, or September, where it's closer to the start of the season. That, hey, Kyrie has a broken hand and, he's, and, and now he needs surgery. It's good to know that it's being done now in July where anywhere between six to maybe even at most eight weeks, maybe 10 weeks pushing it, that he will need time to recover before that hand is fully healed, which I truly believe he will be back in time for the season. I don't think he'll miss significant time, nor will he be on a minutes restriction. It is a broken hand. It is his off hand. It's his left hand. But if you're a true Mavericks fan, you know that that's the same hand that Kyrie used to hit that nasty hook shot over Jokic to hit the buzzer beater win. Kyrie Irving, I believe, is ambidextrous. He uses his left hand quite often especially when he attacks the rim so it is it the end of the world no it's it, it's his offhand however health is a big concern a lot of people have alluded to the fact that both Kyrie Irving and Klay Thompson being one of our two older players oldest players that that do get significant time that we need to make sure that we have players that are ready to back them up and in the case of Kyrie Irving, I mean, maybe that's why the Dallas Mavericks are, are focused on finding a, a, a third ball handler. Either that's Dennis Smith Jr., Spencer Dinwiddie, or, or maybe Malachi Flynn. Because with this injury, we don't know what that looks like long term. We don't know if maybe this does affect Kyrie in a weird way. But if we look at Kyrie Irving's stats last season, he did average 25.6 points. 5 rebounds, 5.2 assists, 0.5 blocks, 1.3 steals, 1.8 turnovers, and 1.9 fouls per game, shooting 49% from the field, 41% from three, shooting 51% on corner threes, 65% of his threes are assisted, and 37% of all shots are threes, and that's pretty good. Kyrie had one of his better seasons over the last few years. This was definitely one of his better seasons of his career, and it was with the Dallas Mavericks, and even last year, he did miss significant, I don't want to say significant time, but he did miss some time with an injury. It was a completely different injury, by the way. But a lot of people are worried about Kyrie Irving's health moving forward. All, although this is just an injury to his hand that he did sustain during, I, I'm guessing, a workout. Maybe a freak accident. I don't think he just dribbled the ball once and boom, his hand broke. I don't think Kyrie is, is that fragile. But it is still concerning because if this was in the middle of the season and Kyrie Irving does have to miss six to eight, maybe even ten weeks at most with a broken hand, 
who is that backup ball handler? We know we got Luka Doncic. We know that's that's what Luka can do. But that would rely that would leave the Dallas Mavericks to rely heavily on either Dante Exum or Jaden Hardy. And I don't think those are bad options. We know that Dante Exum plays very well when he plays with Kyrie or with Luke on the floor, leading the backup troops by himself. I don't think Dante is that good at good in that role, but definitely playing alongside Kyrie or Luca, Dante looks pretty good. And Jaden Hardy would definitely need the minutes and need the time to then become that third ball handler for us. But like I said earlier, maybe that's why the team is looking into a third ball handler in case Luca or Kyrie is injured. Yes, we can go to Dante or even Jaden Hardy, or we could find someone that is kind of further along in their development that that can easily back up Kyrie if he has to miss time or back up Luka if he needs to miss time. I truly believe that's why we're looking for a third ball handler, although a lot of people say we need a big, we need to go after a big, but I understand if you look at the roster and the age of these players, the older players, those are the ones that we want to make sure that we have a, a quality backup for in the event of injury because it does happen. Although Kyrie won't, I truly believe, I don't think Kyrie's going to miss significant time it is a good idea to have a backup. But to continue with the reports, uh, Tim McMahon did say a team source expressed optimism that Kyrie Irving would recover in time to participate in training camp. So that's good news. I, I truly believe once when the season starts in October, late October, we'll forget that this even happened. Most most people will probably be like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, he broke his hand in the summertime, had to get surgery. I think everything will be good. The training staff, they they are saying right there that he'll be back in time for, for training camp, which is in about a month or two. So all signs point to Kyrie should be fine. But like I said, some people are more concerned than others about this injury. That, and some people do think that this is a cause for concern. If we look at this, this tweet right here, with Kyrie's hand broken, would it be reasonable to suggest he be traded elsewhere while he still has some potential value? Digest family, don't be this guy. Don't think just because Kyrie has to get surgery on a broken hand that we automatically need, need to trade him, that he has so much value now that get rid of him while he's injured, get someone else. It's not that easy. If you've been keeping up with free agency, players are getting picked up left and right. I talked about Gary Trent Jr. just a few days ago as someone that the Mavericks could look at. He wouldn't be a backup ball handler, maybe just another weapon off the bench to shoot threes. But we did just see the other day how the Bucks did pick him up for a one-year, $2 million contract. The, the free agency market is getting smaller. I'm waiting for the Mavericks to pull the plug on either Dennis Smith Jr., Spencer Dinwiddie, or even Malachi Flynn, or Markel Fultz. That's another name that a lot of people are calling for. A backup guard really wouldn't be a bad thing. And another tweet, maybe if you're not on this side of trading Kyrie, maybe you're a little bit worse. Maybe you're feeling like this guy. T tweeted out, Fat Luka, injured Kyrie, wash clay, no Joshua Green and Derrick Jones Jr. to bail us out. See y'all next year. Again, don't be like this, guys. It's not the end of the world. It's 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 not going to ruin our finals push. His injury isn't that serious. The staff believe that he that he will be back in time for training camp. But I do understand why some people are concerned. Like I said, he is 32, 33 years old. He's one of our older players. And if he does sustain an injury to his left hand, will it be fully healed by the time the season starts? Will that be a nagging injury going forward? Me, personally, I don't think so, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think this injury is something that we should be worried about? Should we go after a third ball handler just in case this does come back later in the season? Or do you think it's just something that happens, he'll get surgery, he'll have time off, and he'll be fine? Let me know what you guys think. But thank you for making this far to the video. Make sure you check out our Twitter and Discord. Links in the description below. Because you're becoming a channel member, we are doing another giveaway. The winner will be announced the first week of August. So make sure you become a channel member if you want to enter our giveaway. But until next time, y'all take care. Drink water. Peace.